You are the chosen one. And we're taken into the final battle. Sort of scrolled along, there's a spike. I don't know why they bothered to put those there. We won't be going backwards. And this is entirely too long, but there he is in all of his horror. Now the world stands helpless against my power. I need you no longer, Firebrand. You are now merely a nuisance. Die. So as shown there, apparently Firebrand was helping him to attain his maximum power. Somehow, I'm not really sure how. Um, his attacks, he's got those little balls that he can send at you. He's got that hand that he blocks his face at all opportunities. And it's hard to line up with because, well, he spends so much time destroying platforms. that upper hand, it can destroy platforms. It's kind of nasty. And that beam, of course, is pretty nasty too. The real trick is just to line up with his face, maybe a little bit higher, and just keep blasting away. If you're gonna miss, just try and make it so he misses you too. There's no point trying to get a hit off after he's gotten you with that. You will not. If, he's a, if one of the platforms is about to grab you, you can destroy it with any weapons that can do buster. So if you're time gargoyle for this fight, oh yeah. Ah! As you can see, this is a little bit of a drawn out one. Mostly because of how he likes to cover his hitbox. these little balls, they drive me nuts. He takes a lot of hits. Luckily... We brought some ginseng. I'm gonna throw that up now. It would probably look more impressive if I could kill him without using any ginseng, especially since I was at full health. But I can take that. He's... I'm just not that good at this game. Just stay like this. Just wait for him to launch off and attack. has to be on screen when you're launching attack, or it just does not work. Which is probably the nastiest part of this battle, along with the way he destroys the platforms. It's best to really just let the balls line up with you. But I think he's starting to die. Yep, he's definitely gonna die. He's got about another four hits or so. Just that he loves making me paranoid. But he's got very little life left. He just doesn't really want me to kill him. But, nonetheless, his arm falls off, he burns a little bit, his face burns, and his crest is ours. Alright, not bad, Firebrand. But, yeah, let's watch through this ending. Yeah, there's another two endings. I'll show off the other endings next video, because um, we'll be fighting, well, the next whole video. There'll, there'll probably be a part two to this, um, just because that fight did drag on a little bit. There's a time where I died, then I'll see if it was 
long enough for me to put to funny music. Or do something silly like that. But Phalanx's castle has dissolved away. Well, sunk into the ground. And Firebrand flies away. Diving like I do. Hooray for the glory of Mode 7. As he flies up, up to the cloud cover, showing that what we saw at the beginning of the game was clouds. As he climbs up Hiver higher and higher. Some pretty good music. Phalanx almost summoned the power of infinity. As we see, we scale this awesome cliff, but he was destroyed by the power of Firebrand. Before it came under his control. With all the crests safely in his possession, Firebrand mused over the power at his command. It would be a simple thing to use it to reign supreme. But in the end, Firebrand, Capcom not really knowing how to space out text, decided that his destiny lies elsewhere. You see him looking sort of powered up. The Crest of Infinity. When all six crests are united. The Crest of Infinity is said to appear. And give the bearer unimaginable power. And we've gotten some pretty unimaginable power right now, so he chucks them. Bye-bye, Cresties. We love you. Come back soon. Visit us. You never write. And now we're going to go through a little bit of a boss run on the Crest of Earth. Ruling over the Earth, the Crest gives great strength to its owner. And that's the Earth Crest symbol there. And Belth just sorta pops up, crooks his finger. Belth. And as we're about to face off with him using the Earth Crest, it shows us Ov Ovnunu. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I had the name wrong. Ovnunu. Ovnunu. The Crest of Air, which is, I think, a pretty cool symbol. Ruling over the sky, the crest enables the owner to control the wind. Now, while we didn't really see that, it transformed us into a bluish-purple thing that could shoot out aerial discs. Hmm, so I guess the game does want us to face off against him, but it puts this crest afterwards, so I didn't do that order. Flame Lord. Or as we know his true name, Flame Lord Steve. I love this song. It's just so good. Um, but now we're showing all of the enemies, including Flyer. The Crest of Water. Another cool symbol there. Looks very much like the wind. Ruling over the ocean, the crest allows the, u the owner to swim beneath the seas. Which, if you think about it, if a human had that crest, would they just, like, never need to breathe? Or, because, I mean, we can go underwater. I guess it would give us resistance to pressure. As it shows there, that's us versus Skula. We did that battle, although I think that he probably did it better. And there's our lovely little friend there. The Sea Snail Holothurion. I think it looks pretty epic, to be perfectly honest. The Crest of Time. 
Ruling over the past? The crest enables... the owner to go back in time. So... why we didn't use that now to go back in time and you know, slap Phalanx around, I don't know. I wish we could do this battle, because that would be awesome. It, but I guess I could do it, but it just seems weird. And that's Crawler. Definitely showing us we should be fighting that thing with time. Grey One. Grey One. So I, I got his name wrong. Sorry. The Crest of Fire. Ruling over Flame. The Crest allows... The Owner to control Fire. That's the Choosing One logo right now, just because it was a picture I happen to have sitting around. And since this default form, we'll be showing off some of the enemies we faced earlier. Like Somulo. And Hippogriff. I find it interesting they use the normal theme for the ending here, but it's an epic enough theme. And Arma. Which not only confirms you're supposed to use the demon fire against him, but it also said you're supposed to use him's power against Grey Wong, so. And the skull rises up. Firebrand looks on as Phalanx. Not to be confused with that very, very weird shooter game for the SNES with the cover with the guy playing the banjo. We see a gorgeous starry night sky. Well, I think it looks pretty. I know it's just a bunch of dots. But stars can look like a bunch of dots, depending on how good your vision is. And the end. A pretty stylized, awesome dragon there. But this is not the end of this Let's Play. Um, we have a little bit more to do. For one, we have the Heavenly Gargoyle that I get to show off to you next video. And we also have the awesome might of the Dark Demon. So tune in next time for the thrilling conclusion of this Let's Play. I'm sure this is a two-parter. But thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm your host, Corinne, and I hope you have a wonderful day.